chepi eni ya ti ni usubi ya eni na mama santin tankesi yeso se uko siki asylum ewo ye united kingdom wa na yedi wuko back to ye rwanda because rwanda fo aji ya tumse yuki fo refugee fo ono omu embra emetina ekronu so na uti ye rwanda ni president ha ode ye message ya babo ntin a ye pola polo e chile wane nkase ye muse Eye asembia isi miribi ya uche mwa unya Eye humoboro edimani batuntum Ntine manije saadi ya nitu mwa Ama nkofua omunam Eye Mediterranean Street ni si ni so Efefa Libya ni adi ati kofa hao mwa Uwe vidgo bikura Na gane ni dishi yibi akofa hao bimu Tru eye sika wako pene hunte mwa enya Anase ofa kwa nso ako kurubi so Ako pesi kebi eni adi adi nti Ekofa hao edibre sa eni peyino Eno na po si uhu ya tuwa na kuma suwa o chere se O beji sa adi eni ya tu Eni neni pani bi dru eye rwanda ho Na suwa si o mpeno wabi kwenye kuru mwa Na otini kwenye kuru mwa bak Na suwa ma eye di petu ntu mwa Ako e hao ni ya titi mu E ubu nibi kuru su diye Ono uhu ni sayana na hon e tete no Video ya uhu shi yi e chere Ewe yenkasi yi mwa Na suwa mwa di aleje se Eye nko ufuwa ya si suwa mwa di wama gu Eye pili mwa from yuki Ebe sine edi ye chomu Edi ako eye rwanda Ako tina ho ena omu e ka e hon asem ye din ka ebe din ka akwa akwa hwe e ye kasa e ye yuki for president no and as a yuki for prime minister no wadi betu abwante yi e fa e ye insem wa hudwa nko fo e ka se adye ni se yampa anase e ye ntro no video wen sinu ube hu nu kurebia e wum aha ye kwa namba television witi milo comment in suwa gu video na se hello webu siyafo se wo pesi fita asura cha wado fo die and they're not for who could do with unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong qua. What did you choose? And my will see a year fitter. Na a year fitter non suno. Na a ye and cow bunny beer a woe no mu beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain, si beer. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every swam or kama kama kama. The other one is a utu so. Na would the beer go? Or brush the so. Now the chuchu is in the sun yin a kama u vya and u huwe num janu wa we num sa into for a unique laser whitening and was 079-9979-2330 unique laser whitening or say muni seso. Okay, yang kwa niyanko tiye ase mwa aye yuki prime minister oka aye efa aye asalam sike so mwa yuki aye do mwa kore wanda ni inti nse mwa waka. So from today our new migration and economic development partnership will mean that anyone entering the UK illegally, as well as those who have arrived illegally since January the 1st, may now be relocated to Rwanda. This innovative approach, driven by our shared humanitarian impulse and made possible by Brexit freedoms, will provide safe and legal routes for asylum while disrupting the business model of the gangs. The deal we've done is uncapped, and Rwanda will have the capacity to resettle tens of thousands of people in the years ahead. And let's be clear, Rwanda is one of the safest countries in the world, globally recognized for its record on welcoming and integrating migrants. So from today, our new migration... Okay, anti Eye Prime Minister ani yate ni nkei A wakasa edi fa hon se Ubi diye duru ewe yuki huwa Wasetine mu anase O next eye flight e kwa Rwanda Street Afe yon kwe tiye eye Asemu ana omu kan ewe video Wee echi Minim nukura ewe sa video wee mu diye Ba omu chile se Omu omu kudiye duru ewe eye yuki Nuni edu omu kwa Rwanda yi According to video wee insemu ano omu kan Se watu kwa nse wuko yuki Irup ako bo bra Na enkrata se mti that's how say do call Rwanda refugee camp. From UK to Rwanda refugee camp. And the only one who is here, the two people are very easy to get, but we can't get a permit. 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 Okay, it's a UTA video. We can't get a permit. We can't get a permit. And you don't call Rwanda. So we can't get a permit. We can't get a permit. We can't get a permit. Ubeti milu wajun chile gu video na Safi yonko enko tiye eye asema po Edi betu uja efa eye sa haki siye betu uhui Enko fo eye chile se Oli sika anasa omu li sika na atono Enu watoni petu ntumu Edi free eye rwanda eye yuki 
and the air by a year to wonder when you take poor commenter or my first case and again I'm, I'm, I'm a friend uh, United Kingdom something to do with the migration I know it has caused another confusion and I want to explain it to you <laughs> And again, um, um, I first had to say what I said, and I, I brought, then I br bring this because it should be seen in, in that context of who we are and who we want to be. Uh, because I have seen some people say, you know, uh, that United Kingdom gave us money and then they want to dump people here. <laughs> no. <laughs> We, we don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> we, we, we don't uh, buy and sell people. <laughs> we can't do that, again, because of our core values. But I'll tell you what happened, and uh, so that everyone is clear in their minds. Uh, in 2018, if many of you may recollect, I was the chair of the African Union. And uh, during that time, uh, so many stories, you know, uh, many young, maybe some of them old Africans were perishing, dying in big numbers in the Mediterranean, being uh, taken through Libya and uh, to many parts of Europe. And I remember reading a story about uh, a, a Ghanaian young man, an engineer, who happened to be following this path and there, there are people, there are smugglers, they have networks who take people from Africa, different parts, and smuggle them into Europe. And that time they were using uh, Libya, because of uh, its uh, statelessness, there was confusion, there was no state in control. And in fact, hundreds, if not thousands of them were trapped in Libya in different places in the prisons, starving to death, others abused in all sorts of ways. Some people had started coming, picking some of them and taking them to their countries to use them as slaves lives. Uh, so, and we were somewhere discussing with some of the leaders, and I was telling them, why don't we address this problem? I said, for example, for me, I'm not just going to suggest this uh, theoretically that it can work. I want to even provide an example. I said, let's find ways if we got all these people trapped in Libya who can't, they can't go back to where they came from, they can't uh, move ahead to Europe where they wanted to go. Uh, and I told them, I can assure you, with all our weaknesses and whatever we have in our country, these people, if they were brought to Rwanda, they would live a better life than they are living in Libya in these prisons. And I said, so if we brought them, then other countries interested in helping this problem, we can do the following. One, we can ask these people whether they want to go back to where they came from now that they found themselves mistaken and in a very terrible situation in Libya, they may end up wanting to go back home. Uh, because I had read that story of the Ghanaian I was telling you, who, who was, for him he was an, an educated man, a young man, but I think illusioned about, I, I think he was an engineer, I, I read it, but see, for some reason he wasn't employed. And so the networks that were smuggling people to Europe took him and when he was in Libya, he got stuck. He found he was not going forward. He could, so he had paid some amount of money which he got from his parents, 
I remember the story we were talking about eight or nine hundred dollars we had been paying through this, this, to these smugglers. And uh, so he started so negotiating with the smugglers to take him back and he would pay the same amount of, again, the same amount of money, which means uh, 1,600 or 1,800. But this time he didn't have it. It would be paid when he got back to Ghana by, I think, his parents. So the smugglers took him back. But this is because he discovered there was no way of continuing to Europe. But even if he had reached Europe, I, by the way, I'm not sure, maybe what he had in mind he would become or he was going to be the case. Maybe he was just going to be the same person as he was in Ghana, even in uh, Europe, wherever he would be. He wasn't going to get that good living now. But anyway, so agreed, if they arrived here, they could easily be taken back home if they choose to go back home. Second, those European countries that have allowed migrants to come to Europe should come and stably select those they want to take to their countries and uh, that would be still better than these people being trapped in Libya. Then third, we provided another option. We said, for those who can't go back, who don't want to go back for some reason of their own, and may not be selected by the countries that want to absorb them, we are giving them another option. We can actually find ways in which they can stay here. There were these three options in 2018. So I think that's how now this new situation developed with the UK and others contacting us. It's like they learned from this case and said, can we have people processed here stably, instead of being smuggled into our countries and doing this and that. And this time, they are not just going to be Africans. They may be a number of them Africans. They are going to be other people from other countries. We allowed uh, people from Afghanistan to come here. They are, even now, they are still students who were brought here, they are still staying with us. So I'm saying there are things that have really changed about us. And, and so I'm saying we, we don't have to learn values from anybody ourselves. We, we have values in us that we go by. Uh, so we can, we can absorb Afghanistan, people from Afghanistan, from wherever, from, and if they are from Africa, we, we are even happier. <laughs> we, because they are like, we take them like uh, family. So when the UK approached us, and because of that problem they have, I think they are smuggling people in these countries, left, right, center. And, and, uh, so if we could talk about uh, how to deal that, with that problem, we are happy to deal with that problem. There is, uh, I understand, Denmark. Is, uh, so there is nothing uh, bad about this, there is nothing we can't be transparent about this, there is nothing, we, so this is what it is. <laughs> so, and this is who we are too. So I wanted to clear this please, we, we are not, uh, <laughs> no, this is why I was saying, uh, there are things you can't buy about us. Yes, 
we are who we are, and we, we are proud people too. We, we are not, so we are not involved in buying and selling of people, Rwanda and the UK, or anybody. No, it's just a problem that people will have different views about it. They look at it differently. They are not happy about it. That's okay. People will have look at, but at the end of the day, you've got to do something. Friend, uh, United Kingdom. Okay. We are someone, a year, Ura Paul, a day, a betuja, a far, a year, and go for a more echo a siki asylum. A wo yuki, I assigned or more back to a year, Rwanda. Minim or drink radia, she said, dear, or crono, a so more person, more year, and no. Say, oh, a year, a clubish na oh, but a year, juki, wa. Na oba be pebe bi atina ubi dru wa omudu ube ko back to Rwanda. Na afi nu wakwa ko bo obra e o Rwanda. We eya se ma babe tuja minimu wa jin chile, ubiti mi luwa jin chile gu video na si bidi de kona babu ati. Hello, webu siyafo. So wo pesi fita asura cho odo fwo die. Ende na fa wo ko domu unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. E wo toothpaste to strong kwa. O di chuchu wo siya ema wo siya eye fita. Na eye fita anon suno. Na eye en kaoboni biya e wo wo numu biya. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain si biya. Unique laser whitening product. E be yi ni nyine efri suwa ma wo kama kama kama. Di yao bayani se u tuso. Na o di biye gu. O brush do so. Na o di e chuchu wo sene su nyina kama. O vya. E wo hu wo numu janu wo wo numu sa. Into for a unique laser whitening, I was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening, or say, money says.